right, so Will Smith has been banned from the Oscars for 10 years. Uh, he succinctly stated, I accept and respect the Academy's decision. Um, this is from Deadline I'm reading. With their options rather limited, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Board of Governors decided that Will Smith would not be able to attend the Oscars for 10 years. Quote, the board has decided for a period of 10 years from April 8th, 2022, Mr. Smith should not be per permitted to attend any Academy events or programs in person or virtually, including but not limited to the Academy Awards. Um, we also hope this can begin a time of healing and restoration for all involved and impacted. Um, he obviously had already resigned from the Academy um, right, right, right. after slapping Chris Rock. So um, does this feel sufficient to you or is it pun intended, pun very much intended, a slap on the wrist as some seem to believe? Well, I mean, it's, it's neither of those. <laughs> it's neither. It, it feels, it feels like we're still kind of in the, we're still in the workshop that, that nothing is complete. Nothing feels uh, resolved. Nothing feels final. And, and that I, I understand that Mike, because there's really nothing sufficient that could have been done. Uh, an apology to Chris Rock already happened. That didn't feel sufficient. Um, Will Smith resigned from the Academy already. That didn't really make you feel better. It didn't really uh, take away any uh, discomfort that anybody had. If you take away his Oscar, Can't okay, what is that? We are, he already That's won a Pandora's it. box. Is, it's a Pandora's so, box, and his right. performance had you don't nothing want to, to do, do that. with his performance. You know what, you know what I'm saying? His right. performance had nothing to do with his performance. Yeah, so you can't, right. you, can't take, now, you can't do that. If, you, if, if it's a suspension, well, you can't suspend the guy who's no longer in the academy because he resigned. So you ban him from attending the Oscars. Now, for us, we say, oh, no big deal. But for somebody who is used to that, I think it might be, it might feel strange to him, especially when he won't, he'll, he'll, no longer be able to continue that tradition where he can present the best Oscar, uh, the, the Oscar to the next person who wins yeah. it. Or correct me, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. He's also not up for any. Now that he's not in the in the academy, right? And, and now that he's resigned from the academy, can he can he still well, receive Oscar nominations? Yeah. He yes, can? he can. Okay. But but here's the he but here's the okay. thing, and this is where this is where the academy. I wasn't clear on that. It's kind of so thank you. It's kind of like Major League Baseball and the, and, and the Hall of Fame. Okay, <laughs> could Roger Clemens be in the Hall of Fame? Sure, he's eligible. Mm -hmm. Sure. Barry Bonds? Sure, eligible. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> you know, when, but it's when, almost when, you're like, not, yeah, you're eligible. You're when, on the ballot, but you're, you're eligible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're on the yeah. ballot. Yeah. We'll get you. Yeah. You'll get some votes. You haven't been banned. But you won't get it. We haven't Pete. We haven't yeah. Pete yeah. rose you. But you, but, right. but you're not gonna. You, effectively, you have been. Yeah, I got you. I got. But you. I don't think there's um, any. So, I don't think there's any solution to this. I don't think there's anything that can happen. Well, there was one that will make. Wh what is that? that there make was, there, there was one. Feel great. There was one. It was one, and it's been far enough for me to say something that's at least tongue in cheek. The only thing that would have been sufficient is if Chris Rock had gave him a two piece. If Chris Rock had given them hands, then maybe we could have called it even. Then we'd be about square. Okay. So, other than that, nothing. Again, that's why I think Deadline led the way that they did with their options limited. There wasn't something within reason that they could have done, especially since he had already preemptively uh, resigned. Uh, from the Academy, but honestly, I don't even think anything else needs to be done. I'll answer my own question about it being a slap on the wrist and I'll go back to what I said when it first happened the day after because I, I, I'm and I said it. I've said it since then and I'll repeat it. It's like not just for every action. Is there a reaction or equal and opposite reaction? But for every choice, there's consequences and I said it at the beginning. I know you. I know it kind of rubbed you the wrong way. I know some other people it wasn't does. feeling it, but it still does. It's, it's, it still does. It's how I was raised. Don't start nothing. Don't be yeah. none. So when Chris Rock decided to say something about Will Smith's wife, I get the setting, I get the occupation, I get the attire and the vibe and, and, and the environment where they were, 
but that typically can result that oftentimes can result in somebody getting angry or, or physically aggressive if not violent. I also said that when Chris Rock made the choice to stroll up, the, excuse me, when Will Smith made the choice to stroll up on that stage and assault and batter Chris Rock, then the consequences that in, that ensued he had to live with and the consequences that he's dealing with are far greater than not being able to sit at the Oscars like yesterday. I don't know if it's just coincidence, but the people at AMC doubtful it was coincidence people at AMC decide to put on enemy of the state. How appropriate because that's kind of what Will Smith is right about now is an enemy of the state um, and in some people's eyes that is right and right. The reputational damage, the damage to his image that he now has to deal with, perhaps indefinitely, and I'm not going, I'm, I would never say it's going to ruin his career. He's done too much um, for popular culture and for the culture to be defined by his worst moment. Um, but this is something that people will never forget. Some people may never forgive. So the irony is that while he inflicted physical punishment, and I don't know if it, if it hurt Chris Rock or not. It certainly stunned him, even though he kept it pushing. Like we've we've seen, and you went to sure. see him. Of course, of course. Well, when of I say hurt, hurt, I don't know how much it hurt. Well, I don't know. He, I, I don't know. He didn't punch him. I'm saying I said I don't know how much it Smack hurt. Yourself. Did he feel it? Of Smack course. Yourself he, in of the face. course, he felt Smack it. Smack yourself in the face and see how, and see and see what it's like. You're, miss, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Go of ahead. Of course, go he ahead. helped go it. Ahead. Go ahead. Of, of course, of course, of course, he felt it. Of course, he felt it. But I'm saying the mo the person that's dealing with the more most pain after this is him is Will Smith. Like you went to Chris Rock's show. You met Chris Rock. You saw how the crowd responded to him. Chris Rock came out of this thing looking like roses. Chris Rock yeah. came out of this thing Look. better than when he went in. Chris, if, if there is a winner in this ugly situation External. and you know, I do have a yeah, you know, how I do have an issue External. with the language that Chris Rock used toward Jada Smith to begin with. But that aside, if anybody gained more fans and gained more respect, it was Chris Rock, whereas the opposite is true for Will Smith. And yeah, so if, yeah, if Will, Mike, Will Smith is the, one of the biggest actors in the history of Hollywood. Okay, one of the well, he's, he's one of the biggest box office sensations yes, yes, of our lifetime yes. and that is suffering. So I, my point is regardless of what the Academy did that damage is done and unless and until he gets on camera and cries and apologizes. You're gonna have a lot of people that are never really gonna look at Will Smith the same again, and you can't you can't yeah. put that's not tangible. You can't put that, you know what I mean? You can't quantify that. Does that make sense? Okay, but here's the problem. Yeah, it does make sense, okay, but ahead. I uh, I think it's I don't know if Will Smith is is hurt more than Chris Rock externally. Yes. Okay. So I mean, the I'm people, strictly talking externally. Like, oh, I'm strictly right, talking about right. externally. I'm, I'm talking about a brand. Okay. Image reputation yeah, sure, standpoint. Sure, sure. I am not talking about the psychological damage and emotional right. toll and that Chris Rock has had to deal Absolutely. with. I'm strictly talking. When the I point. say hurt, I don't mean I don't mean up in here. I mean how people view that individual. Chris Rock gained a lot and, more fans, and that's saying something than he already had by how he comported himself on Oscars night. In spite of what he said know, to Jada Pinkett, Chris Rock was the victim in a lot of people's eyes. And therefore gained a lot of sympathy. Yeah. Whereas Will Smith, his reputation may never be the same. You know, as an aside, as a bit of an aside, I used to say this when I was writing columns, something frivolous to others. It wasn't frivolous to me. It, I, I took it very seriously. But when I was writing sports columns, I always mm -hmm. used to say, I wish people. I wish people could see themselves the way I'm able to see them. So I'm the one and Shalice made a reference to it earlier. When I write a column and I'm getting responses from people all over. So so people from from the left and the right, people who are apolitical, people who are Muslim and Jewish and Christian yeah. and atheist. I'm hearing from all sorts of people and I'd always say based on the emails I would get, I'd say, "Wow, it's amazing." how people who have completely different philosophies mm -hmm. find similar things funny, who are outraged by similar things, who 
uh, have a response who have a, 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 a kind of a universal response, but they would never see themselves that way. I get to see this and that was to me. That was one of the biggest gifts of writing a column that I could see some similarities in people who would never think that they were similar. And I, I say that that's a whole lead up a roundabout way of saying this situation has proven that too. It's amazing. It's not necessarily split. Now I'm not saying people aren't on Will Smith's side if you want to put it that way, but the majority of people as you've just pointed out and I agree with the majority of people are saying hey Chris Rock handled this with grace uh, with poise and Will Smith. Hey, no matter how upset you are, you can't do that. I think the majority now I don't know if it's 55 would, 45 or 65 would agree with that. 35, yeah. but it's amazing yeah, how we can get to a place uh, with, with certain things. It's hard to get but a lot of people to with, agree with, on anything. With Chris Rock, it's unfortunate for him that this has got to be a tagline. This is part of his tagline too. It's a part of his association for the rest of his career. Yes, he has come out with more fans and he has gotten some applause. More ticket sales, yeah. But he can't. From a, but, but just but, as well. But even from a career, they're both but from on a this. career standpoint. Both, no, they are. They yeah. are. But I think from a career standpoint, I would I would say it's more of a, of a psychological and emotional thing. I mean, again, far be it for me to speculate, but career wise, I don't think this does any damage to Chris Rock's career. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.